DVMs here. Today we're looking at Microbacter 7, a bioculture product made by Brightwell Aquatics. This is one of these great products. I've used it myself. I believe it works. But you know, I'm sure you guys have all been in this situation. Sometimes you're talking to your local buds on the forum or maybe at the local fish store and somebody says, do you really believe there's bacteria in a product that's been sitting on somebody's shelf for a few months before you buy it? Or do you really think it lasts in your saltwater tank once you put it in? And I guess the answer's always been yes, but I've never really proven it. So I'm going to put a shout out here to Baby Reef. Um, she kind of gave us the idea. And we decided, hey, let's do a product review on this and see if it does what they say it can. Is the product really full of live bacteria in a bottle? And can it last longer than 24 hours in a saltwater aquarium? That's what we tried to prove, so here we go. I'll just kind of show you what we did. Basically, we took a bunch of culture plates. Um, in this case, we used um, two different types, a blood auger media on one side and the macaques on the other, because that's standard for our labs that we have in our area. Um, these are the plates. Pretty idiot proof, so to speak. We grabbed a whole bunch of sterile cotton applicators because um, we didn't want to introduce bacteria, but yet we need to be able to sample the water for our plates. We also got ourselves some um, culturette tubes with growth media in them. That way we could actually ship the samples to the lab in more ways than one. Um, these culturettes just make it very convenient to check for both anaerobic and aerobic bacteria. This is what we basically did. We bought ourselves a new bottle of it. We popped it open and took some pre-samples here right off the bat. Um, basically what we wanted to do is, again, prove what is in the bottle. Is it alive? Um, can it grow? <laughs> uh, so we took samples and sent them to a couple different labs just to prove it. Uh, the labs do charge for this, by the way. It was uh, paid for out of our own pocket. But uh, for me it was well worth it because I really wanted to see what this product could do. Um, the samples we took, first one we took was a culturette tube. And as you can see here, I'm just going to rip open one of the sterile uh, Q-tip swabs. And we're going to use these sterile Q-tip swabs, um, new ones every time, to swab the culture plates. And we're swabbing both sides, um, both the blood auger and the macaques. Uh, and then we're going to put them in an incubator and get them to grow at the lab. And then have the lab actually uh, analyze them and tell us what they grew, basically. <laughs> Um, hopefully they, they grow stuff, right? I mean, that's that's the goal of a product like this. This product is meant to decrease biomass by introducing into the tank good bacteria um, that would reduce your biomass, break it down into compounds that your corals and stuff could use. The way we decided to set up the experiment is simple. Um, we bleached out an aquarium. Um, then we rinsed it out with RODR water and let it sit for a couple days to dry out. Then we basically cultured the empty tank. You've got to have a starting point. Make sure you don't have um, a bacteria already existing in the tank um, that could skew your results. So that's what we're doing here. Kind of got it sped up a little bit. Again, same process and principle. Culturettes and culture plates are taken with sterile swabs and sent off to the lab. You know, basic labeling here. Just pre-tank sample and out the door they go. And then what we ended up doing is we ended up adding salt water um, to the mixture using our RODI water. Uh, tried to keep it as sterile as we could, but we knew it wasn't going to be perfect. So we had to take samples of our salt water mix um, before we added the product. We also have a pump and a thermometer in this tank running to keep it at 78 degrees. And again, those products are very hard to keep sterile. So basically, again, we had to take all pre-samples to exclude any bacteria that might be already existent in the water before we add our samples. Um, just the best we could do, I guess, uh, with limited funds and budgeting here <laughs> to get it done. So anyways, these are our pre-tank samples. At this point, then, we're going to get ready to add our actual sample to the tank. We're just going to follow the directions per the amount of water that we've got. This is a recommended refrigerated product. Um, as you can see, we're just going to pour it here in this little graduated cylinder and then we're going to just dump it into the water and note that I'm going to try not to actually put the 5 mLs um, uh, from the container into anything that's not sterile. So again this was a sterile sample cup um, and it's being dumped into the water there so hopefully we don't contaminate it with anything um, including our hands. The only thing that actually touches the water over these next 48 hours is going to be the, the sterile cotton swabs. As far as looking at the product itself, 
Uh, we put about 5 mLs here in another sterile beaker. Decided to take the specific gravity of it, I guess just for knowledge sake, just to kind of see, um, you know, what the product is like. Interesting enough, it's very similar um, to water. Its specific gravity was 1.011, okay. basically the same as water. Um, so I can easily understand why bacteria can live in it. I guess I thought it was a little interesting. I took my pH probe, um, which happened to be in my salt water, and I stuck it in uh, the product, and it's kind of acidic. <laughs> uh, 4.79 is what we got. Um, maybe I should be wearing gloves, I guess, huh? Um, just knowledge, I guess, about what the product is. We then went back to the tank um, over the course of 1, 4, 8, 16, 24, and 48 hours, um, and we took sterile culture swabs and sterile um, culturettes of the tank, put them onto the medias, put them in the packaging, and got them all sent off to the lab. We also took water samples at each one of these times, too. This is just a sample of some of the um, culture at plates there sitting on the table all labeled and ready to go. Then we asked the lab to analyze them and we actually got to go to one of the labs which is pretty nice. Um, they get to put it under a thousand X oil microscope. Um, they've got some pretty cool equipment and they looked at our actual water samples um, to see if they could see uh, bacteria in them. Um, the first samples obviously they looked at were our pre-samples and then from there, they looked at our 1, 4, 16, and so forth, all the way to 48-hour samples. They were basically able to tell us a lot. It was pretty cool to watch them do their job. Um, anytime you get to work with a, a boarded veterinarian, uh, that's pretty cool. They've got uh, some of the latest equipment. They're able to show it to us on TV as we actually watched it. And I think what was really neat for us to see was that, particularly the samples of the 1-hour all the way to the 48-hour, had a lot of bacteria in them. The pre-samples that we took of the tank and the water system did have a little bacteria in them, but it wasn't much. Um, again, these people at this point, they're not typing the bacteria, they're just identifying them. However, the two labs that we sent the growth plates off to, they were able to type the bacteria and quantify it for us. And they gave us a good thumbs up and matched all the bacteria together. So basically the results that we got were that the product is alive in the bottle, okay, and when you add it to your tank, between 1 and 48 hours, the product stays alive in your tank, and it's the same bacteria that's in the bottle. It's a very specific bacteria. It's probably under trademark, so I'm not going to mention it. So is the product full of live bacteria? Yes. Can it live longer in a salt water tank? Absolutely. Um, it did quite well for our tests. I hope it works well in your tank. I'm very pleased with the product, and I'm going to continue to use it. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace.